Hi chicas, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing good. Today we're going to be working with this design, another Christmas design, so then let's begin. We're going to be using this blue from JC Beauty Concepts, which is a baby blue. We're also going to be using Milky White from Not Polish. And last but not least, we're going to be using... Um, snowball from bomb nails so yes you guys i do have a etsy shop just in case you guys are interested and really want to go and purchase my glitter mixes i have five available um five different glitter mixes available um and i will have them listed in the description box my etsy shop just in case you guys are interested you guys can go ahead and purchase them I have two different sizes the 20 grams this is a 20 grams and the one ounce you guys so it all depends on what you guys want or what you guys like everything is everything will be in the description box so um, we also have a discount code for not polish and a discount code for for JC beauty concepts so if you guys are interested that will be in the description box as well okay chicas so now i'm gonna be applying this blue this is a beautiful baby blue by jc beauty concepts this is from their pastel collection um i love their pastel collection you guys like hands down one of the best um pastel collections i've seen and worked with because um it doesn't marble um i love that about them because usually like I have one from fantasy nails and that marbles like crazy you guys like they're like whenever you go and place down your little bead of acrylic you see like a white spot um, of white acrylic that's what makes your acrylics marble so um, if you don't like that um, to me it's like no problem because once you brush it down the nail it's no problem but if you don't like that this one is perfect because it doesn't do that also it's super creamy the consistency it has you guys it's creamy it's like butter i freaking love it so yeah chicas with that being said <laughs> i'm gonna continue on with the with the design on my index finger i'm gonna be applying this this is in this is like a milky well it's actually called milky white and it's from not polish as well you guys not polish hands down one of the best acrylic lines out there so again we have discount codes you know whatever you like whatever you please everything will be linked in the description box below and don't forget to go to my etsy shop you guys <laughs> i'm not not polished but it's bomb nails and you're gonna like them <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna be applying my glitter mix onto my ring finger this is just white with iridescent glitter in it and i also decided to add a little bit of snowflakes um it doesn't have a lot but i did add snowflakes onto it and then um, i'm gonna leave it as is and then i'm gonna move on to my middle finger and i'm gonna be applying it like onto half of the nail because the rest of the nail is gonna go blue you're gonna see that in a minute um and then after that is done and over with i'm gonna go ahead and cap the rest of the nails um i'm gonna be using my acrylic from my acrylic system from glam and glitz that's what i've been using lately you guys know that i go through like nsi to glam and glitz to zoef um those are my three top favorite most liked um, acrylic lines to work with from their monomer to their acrylic powder their crystal clear powder those are like hands down one of the best zoef they don't i don't think they have a crystal clear powder just yet or if they do they don't have the big containers i'm not sure you guys i know i'm an ambassador and i'm not <laughs> i'm not sure but i mean their monomer is bomb you guys their monomer is really good so yeah also not polished they have a monomer i have not tried that just yet i'm waiting i'm waiting you guys um but yeah you know i just go back between these three brands um i think those are my my as far as monomer and crystal clear powder 
um those are my three most liked brands they always ask me what brands do i recommend those would be the top three brands for me nsi zoef and um glam and glitz um but yeah i'm also using a an alpha brush i know i know you guys i haven't gotten to clean my favorite brushes but i've been using this one more and more and um it does a job not my favorite but it does a job and um i don't know you guys um i just don't feel like you know like i don't know you guys i just it's not like at the top of my list right now to go and clean my brushes which you know i know i'm supposed to and i know i have to like asap but i've been like i've been so busy with other things that you know if i see that brush clean i'm gonna use that brush clean you know what i mean like i don't know who else is with me <laughs> i'm like so lazy to to clean my brushes that's all that gets me you guys but but yeah i mean i don't know i guess it's just me but yeah so i'm gonna be capping the whole nails you guys just because of course we do not want to ruin anything that we just laid down whenever we come and file if you don't cap you're gonna come and file your nails and you're gonna ruin everything i mean you're gonna start from scratch because you're gonna remove everything you just laid down so you want to make sure you go ahead and cap it also saves product um these little containers from jc beauty concepts are super super small so imagine if you add if you make the right thickness of the nail just using uh this small little tiny powder i mean literally you're good for maybe one set maybe maybe two like you need to learn how to work smarter you guys because this is gonna save a lot of product um i've seen other nail techs which i respect each and every nail tech you guys everybody works different and um you know i've seen them that sometimes they don't cap the nail they they just go in you know um trying to make the the thickness the right thickness to the nail just using um their their colored acrylics and you know it, it, i mean i respect it like i said you know i respect their their thoughts how they work i respect everything about them um but that's just me and um i i prefer to just go and cap the nails and you know it just saves me a lot of product so yeah i mean colored acrylics are pretty expensive so yeah i mean that's just a, an advice for me to you <laughs> okay chicas so now i went ahead and um filed and shaped and buffed and the whole shebang off camera and now i'm gonna be using a super duper thin liner brush i get these liner brushes off of amazon and i'm gonna be doing like the frozen effect like the icicle effect so i start off by you know kind of like making a circle uh, not a circle but like a just simply outlining the cuticle area with a painting gel and then i make small little lines going down the nail don't have they don't have to be perfect or anything just kind of you know wiggle them around not that much but just going down don't try to make them straight because icicles are not straight they're not perfect so you know just make them going down and then and just using this sugar thing or this glitter actually not sugar <laughs> it's called sugar effect but um it's glitter very fine glitter i'm gonna be sprinkling that on top and then i'm gonna cure that in the lamp for about six well like around 40 seconds um that's how much i cured it for but i did a mistake i should have added my matte top coat which is what i'm doing right now but you know i just left it as is i always forget that you guys I, I mean if you go back to my videos i always forget that don't ever forget that you guys if this were to be a real client i would have gone back and removed everything and applied the matte top coat and then redid the whole thing but since it's just you know it's just me so i just decided to leave it as is but yeah don't forget your matte top coat beforehand so now I'm going to be taking this blue painting gel and then I'm going to be kind of um, adding a little bit of white to it. 
just so that it kind of matches the blue that I'm gonna be using uh, that I'm using on the nails right now so you know I'm gonna be doing the sweater effect you've seen me do this the past couple of videos so you know you just make two straight lines down the nail and then you're gonna be adding like a little whatever design you want in the middle in this case I'm gonna be adding like two little well not two but several little like snakes <laughs> well not snakes but like I don't know you guys this it's just weird just look at what I'm doing because sometimes it's best for, for you guys to see what I'm doing instead of me explaining because half of the time I don't even know what I'm saying so yeah um, it doesn't have to be perfect you guys um, just try your best um, and then after this I'm gonna go ahead and cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds I do want to make sure I cure that in the lamp for longer because since I'm gonna be adding a little bit of crystal clear acrylic on top I want that to go through it you know what I mean so you want to make sure that it's that it's um, cured very very good so uh, again I'm gonna sprinkle that with a little bit of crystal clear acrylic um, just use whatever you have in hand in this case I'm using again my glam and glitz one so um it's super easy you guys i've you know when i first started i was like how the heck did i do that but you know as you go on like you do you can even do it with your eyes closed it's super easy and simple to do i think this is one of the easiest designs for christmas that you can do they're super simple so yeah now i'm gonna be adding a little bit of um crystals i'm gonna be adding um some blue ones some um, AB ones and some opal ones and I'm gonna be adding some onto my pinky some onto my ring finger and some onto my thumb Alrighty chicas, so now we're going to be top coating the rest of the nails. Um, so I want to make sure that this part of the nail is very shiny as well onto the, the middle finger. This part of it is going to go shiny as well. So just make sure that you add it onto half of the nail, not the whole nail, because it's going to ruin the sweater that we just created. So I cure that in the lamp for about another 60 seconds and once they come out, I'm going to be applying a little bit of cuticle oil and this is what they look like. So yeah, chicas, thank you for being here one more time. I really, really, really hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to go and check out my Etsy shop just in case you guys are interested. It'll be in the description box. I have five glitters available, two different sizes of each. So go ahead and check it out, you guys. Thank you for all your support. Honestly, thank you so much. It means the world to me. Thank you everyone who has bought their glitters. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you guys receive them soon. <laughs> and I hope you guys like them and enjoy them. So yeah, chicas, I'll see you on the next one. I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you for being here. Stay safe. God bless and bye-bye.